What's up, everyone? How you doing? Welcome to another opportunity for you to hear from some of my amazing members and clients who have joined my Superpower Mastermind 20-week coaching program and how their life has transformed. And today we're speaking with uh, Kel Nicole. Uh, she's absolutely phenomenal. She's been through a, a big journey, um, but most importantly, uh, you know, she, she took some action and uh, she hasn't given up. So I want to welcome Kel to the Luke Mindpower podcast. What's up, Kel? Hi. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm pumped. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I know you recently actually just did a podcast, right? Or yeah, yeah. not recently, but a while ago. With my friend Janet, and we just recorded another one. Amazing. That's awesome. Congratulations. So, Thank you. So tell us, first of all, why did you join the Superpower Mastermind? Why did you want to work with me? What inspired you to, to get in touch? So it's definitely like at a pretty low point in my life. And um, like many other people, like I just happened to come across one of your re dancing reels. And um, I love to dance. <laughs> it just exudes out of me. And so that caught my eye. And then your words like more so. Um, and so then I saw you had a podcast and I kept listening to your podcast like over and over again. And I noticed like, as I was listening, I had so much motivation in my life where I didn't have any at all before. And then I stopped listening for like a week because I was kind of overwhelming myself with too much of it. And it was like a drastic night and day change. Um, and then I had found out about your coaching program. Um, and that just kind of like piqued my interest. Uh, I didn't think I was actually going to do it. <laughs> really? I was just like, well, let me just dip my toe in. Yeah. Yep. I was like, let me just try this coaching call and see what happens. Um, and, uh, I had a ton of fear going into it. Uh, I, ha I kind of had a nudge from Caroline. She was like, okay, we're going to book a, a, a call with Luke now. <laughs> and I was like, wait, does that mean I'm saying yes? And she goes, uh-huh, sure is. I'm like, oh, shit. <gasps> so she kind of put the pressure on. And you know what? Sometimes that's yeah. what we need, you know? Yeah. Like sometimes we need that push and go, yeah, man, like you got to take action. If, if you don't take action and, and do the work, like you're never going to heal. You're never going to grow. You're never going to step into your power. But tell us. Like for people that are listening, because there's, there's people tuning in right now, they're like, well, why did you join? But what, what was happening in your life? Why did you need to grow? Why did you want to build confidence or, or heal any of your insecurities or, or fears or, or doubts? I just felt, well, I wanted to heal them because I knew I had to. Um, I was at a point in my life where I was like the lowest and I felt stuck. I felt like I was like reaching for a lot of healing uh, work um after a really toxic relationship and like completely just ending my dream job and everything was crashing down on me all at once and i just didn't have any motivation but i did at the same time i just didn't feel like i could gain traction like i was getting anywhere i just i knew what that something had to happen and i feel like your you and your program and the team just literally came into my life like exactly when I needed it and felt like I was give, getting to the point where I didn't know what else to do. Mm. So Kel, you came to Atlanta as well to my event that I was there. I was speaking there, which was awesome. It was great to meet you in person, but yeah. you know, many people are going through different types of challenges. And, and I guess when we say toxic relationship, I would make an assumption that you know that's manipulative it's um deceiving it's um hurtful uh is that kind of what you mean when you say toxic relationship because it could mean many different things yes it was toxic in the way of abusive um mm. in like not only manipulative which goes along with like psychological emotional yep. Um, it was starting to get physically abusive. Um, mm. and I was like, just scared for my life. Mm -hmm. Um, so that's, that's what I had gotten out of about. Mm -hmm. And how long, how long were you in, in that relationship for? About two years almost. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's like, there's so many people that are in these unhealthy relationships. So now when you look at like that experience, like 
when you look at it, do you see the blind spots or do you, when you look back at that version of yourself, do you look back at her and go, damn, she, like, she wasn't confident enough or she wasn't self-aware or she wasn't respecting herself enough or she wasn't picking up on like the red flags. Yeah. A hundred percent. And after I got out, I blamed myself so much for not seeing it, not being Mm -hmm. aware but I didn't have the education that I have now. Some of it required Mm. me to actually like go in and do some research on my own to find my own validation, Mm -hmm. um, which was prior to me finding SPMM. And that was helpful along my journey of healing too. I've never heard that. I've never heard someone say that before I found SPMM. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So just so you know, guys, SPMM is just the short, uh, I guess, abbreviation for superpower mastermind. Um, that's pretty cool when you said it. Uh, I haven't heard that before. <laughs> well, I, I had awesome. another coach too prior to you. And yep. um, it was also while I was in this relationship. And like, I don't even think she realized or knew I was even in this like relationship at the time. I just, mm. I kind of felt like let down by that mentorship. Um, and I was scared to try again. Um, I just felt like, you know, gosh, I hope this is going to be different. Um, and it definitely did not disappoint at all. <laughs> so I'm very happy. Yeah, that's awesome. That's good. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy that you got the results. But um, tell us a little bit about the program and like what are some of the things that have really helped you? Obviously, you're still part of the, the community and, and you're still part of the coaching and everything like that. Uh, but what what's like what what have been some standout things like for people because you know there's pro- people probably watching going well, you all right you're talking about a coaching program well, what's so good about it like what would you say is the thing that like really kind of like keeps you motivated or or what, what you know drives you to kind of like keep going and 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 has really helped you to heal and grow I think first and foremost like knowing that I'm meant for something much greater and that um am I going to let fear stop me or like it's all within me. And I, and so like, I know that I can do that, but then also at the same time, like the mindset work was so helpful and pivotal for me because I, I am overanalyze. I'm very much an overthinker. And so I was just all the time in my head. That was one of my biggest blocks when I, I kept saying to you, I was just, I just felt stuck, like in freeze survival mode. Like I literally was in survival mode and it allowed me to find like, to have not only direction, but support and to continue to do um, like the work, like one step at a time. And like to have somebody kind of hold my hand a little bit along the way. So I wouldn't overwhelm myself. Um, the coaching calls really helped keep that motivation up too. So it's like, and the more that I showed up, the more I had that motivation and help to be able to stay consistent too. I'm going to bring something up because I know that this happened and this was <laughs> early 2023. Go for it. And I remember we were on a call together and then I was listening to kind of your journey and what you were sharing and where you were at. And I, I invited you to, cause you got up, I think to module three. And then I invited you to go back and like start again because I yes. felt like, and again, this is like a good coach is going to trigger you. And yes. I, you know, from what you were sharing with me, you know, one thing that I really believe in, I, I'm aware because I created the program is, and plus my own journey of like transformation, healing, confidence, growth, it requires consistency. And in order for you to have that momentum that you're going to keep moving forward and like keep evolving um, it really does require you to like really repeat a lot of repetition is involved and a lot of consistency along the journey is involved and, and very important. It's a very important part of the process. So I realized when, when we were having a check-in that you weren't being consistent and there was too many breaks in between you doing the work. And so I was like, well, I want to see you get the results. And yeah. so I invited you to actually go back and start the program again. And then what happened? I was pissed. (laughs) I was so mad. Um, My ego was hurt. (laughs) Yeah, hard. I know. I remember. It was the best gift, though. 
that was a gift when I look back at it. Um, and, and so like, I don't know if other people will resonate with this or not, but I kind of grew up in the way of feeling like I needed to just achieve all the time to, uh, receive like recognition and validation outside of myself, filling voids. Um, and that came out in my entire life, my personality, how I was around people, my career, like, let's just get the A to fulfill myself. And, um, when I ended up doing the program, I was like, all right, we're all in, let's go. And I was so motivated and I was like, yes, I got through module one and we ended up having, having, um, a check-in shortly after that. And you had invited me to post like in the dream chasers and you were saying you were really, really proud of me. And that was like the ticket. That's all I needed. I was like, okay, we did it. <laughs> And I don't know what it was like click in my brain and I just stopped trying. I didn't have the motivation anymore because all of the motivation and validation I had already basically gotten. So then I was really struggling a lot and I was just like kind of hanging on for dear life, trying to just keep trucking along. And it really kind of made me wonder like, what the heck? Why did that even happen? Um, and so then like when I actually finished module two and started doing three, I was like, oh, we did it. And I was so proud of myself because I struggled so much just to get through one, the second module. Um, and then when we met up and you had told me to start over again, I was like feeling like such a failure. I mm. felt like I was being punished. <laughs> I was like, what did I do wrong? And honestly, it made me realize that my ego was doing the work. Yeah. So now, like, after that happened, it was almost like the the real intrinsic internal Kelly could actually come out and do the, mm -hmm. the work for me and for nobody else. That was the greatest gift. Congratulations, man. You've come a long Thanks. way and, and, and the confidence shows, you know. Um, so tell us, Kel, uh, what are your plans moving forward? Like, what are you working on? Who are you becoming? What are you building, starting a business or entrepreneurship or podcast or social media platforms? Let us know those as well. Yeah. So I have my own pet care business. Um, I walk dogs, do general You didn't care. have that before, though. No, I didn't. Yeah, <laughs> I on, started man. that. Um, so definitely one of my achievements. Um, so yeah, I had a career in wildlife rehabilitation and I was feeling kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do with my skills. So I started a pet care business, um, thanks to the confidence I gained and <laughs> that's been going really, really well for me. Um, and it actually helped me achieve, um, enough income to not only pay off my credit card debt that I was drowning in, but to also move out of my parents' house. I, I had to move back into my, with my parents and so I was able to also do that. Um, but any hoodle. So yeah, I have my pet care business and then I'm also uh, serving as well. And recently I discovered that I want to help people in the future. I have no idea exactly what this looks like yet, but I feel like that pool of just like when I dance or when I'm just being just like that, any type of goofiness or like, some when you get really excited, but you're afraid to let it out because you're mm -hmm. afraid of what other people will think, um, the shame or judgment or people like nitpicking on you. Yep. I want to be able to allow and give permission and show people how to bring that out of themselves without needing me to be there with them. And they can just do it mm. and find that and have that joy. Well, if you keep up those dances, you're definitely going to do the job. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Yeah, good stuff. So mm -hmm. where can people find you on social media if they want to follow you on Instagram or other platforms? Yeah, so um, my Instagram is dive underscore n kelp with two L's. Um, my TikTok is kel.nicole3. Um, and Kel's Positive Pet Care LLC for Facebook. Awesome. Well, I will put all your um, 
all your links uh, in the description as well so people can connect with you. But um, Kel, it's been amazing to, to have you on and for you to share your story. Um, congratulations on all of your success and everything that you've achieved. And this is just the start. Like, yes, I know. Yeah, I'm excited for the like, future. There's so much so coming excited. for you. It's crazy, you know. So, you know, and I, like I kind of feel that with myself as well. Like it's, I know it's been six years since I can like kind of had my own like spiritual awakening or whatever you want to call it, and, yeah. and time for for transformation or, or change. But I really, even myself, feel like, man, I'm just getting started. Like I'm just warming up. <laughs> you Do know? you have like this feeling of a knowing inside of you? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I so, feel it too. There's like that so, gut sinking feeling and then there's mm -hmm. like that knowing feeling and I'm like, yeah. oh yeah. So, <laughs> so keep going, Kel. And uh, if you're <laughs> tuning in, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this success story with Kel Nicole. And also if you're interested in learning more about if and how we could possibly help you transform your life, then all you need to do is send us a direct message. And the best place to do that is probably on Facebook Messenger or even Instagram probably is even better. Just send us a message and write the words, I'm ready, uh, and uh, we'll get in touch with you and give you some more info. All right, guys, thanks so much. I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you for joining me on this journey of self-discovery and growth. If you're ready to grow and reach your full potential and find inner peace, send me a DM that says, I want inner peace, and I'll send you the next steps. You can accomplish anything you set your mind to. When you change your mind, you change your whole life. So don't hesitate and send that DM over to me. Myself and my team can't wait to meet you and witness your transformation in full glory. See you next week.